Hi everybody and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to have a go at painting three dragonflies. Um, the one dragonfly that we have a video of has been very popular and so uh, this is also an extremely popular design so I thought we'd have a go at this one. So to just practice how to draw a dragonfly first of all I'm going to uh, give you one quick tip on how to do this. Um, basically if you imagine the wings of a dragonfly make a kind of flattened cross so something like that and the bit where the cross meets like that the two lines meet is where the thorax the body of the dragonfly is and on top of that there's kind of the head or the mouth parts then on top of that are the eyes and then this is kind of just generally the shape just for the rough and then we have the antennae coming out here and then one wing goes like this the other one goes like that and then underneath the two wings go more or less like that and then the body is in segments like a string of sausages and it goes down there like that with a kind of tail like that and these these wings can be enlarged or have modify the shape but the main thing is they come out of one central point here I'm just going over that in pencil to indicate that that's where they vaguely come from and then they are they come out like that okay so that's roughly how to draw a dragonfly Okay, so I've drawn in very light pencil the outlines of the dragonflies, just using a mechanical pencil because we don't really want the lines to show very much. And now I'm going to take my Stettler pigment liner, which is a 0.3 nib, and I'm just going to draw the shadow areas on these dragonflies, so the darkest areas. Very uh, sketchy um, approach to this. I'm not doing anything in any detail but just because I'm going to come into this afterwards with ink which is going to give more of a substance to it I just want the darkest side of the body to be indicated with with the black and then I'm going to come in with some brown ink and wash but I will do the antennae in this pen and not in the ink because that's nice and fine and now just broken lines, we don't want to outline it like a colouring in book, but just broken lines with uh, variation in um, placement and so on, so you get an interesting um, pattern. Some parts you press harder, some parts you press less hard, just to give some kind of interest to the whole thing. You don't need to go into take an awful long time over that but that's the sort of thing we're aiming for and then this one down here the same thing I start with the eyes it's usually best to start with the eye even for an insect that tends to be a good place to start putting in the antennae now and then choose one side or the other of the body of the insect to make the shadows and go down there just indicating the segments with a little horizontal line and the side of the dragonfly with a little vertical line and then it has a kind of spiky bit at the bottom I don't know if that's a sting or what that is I don't think they stung so I shouldn't think that's what it is okay and then same thing again kind of broken jagged line to just give some shape to the wings and then when we come in with our ink we'll be able to just drag that a little bit haphazardly into position and then the third one is down here just quickly do that one try and make them all a little bit different for example one of them has more horizontal lines here to make this body a little bit stronger this one I'm going to make just more sketchy if you look at photos of dragonflies on 
Pinterest or wherever, you'll see that their bodies, although they follow this basic pattern, they do vary a lot. There's lots of different types. And uh, some of them are fatter, some of them have got kind of dumbbell shaped bodies, so they go in and out, but they're all very, very varied and very varied in colour. The one thing they all have in common though is that they're very delicate. So we want to keep that in mind. You can sketch in some veins at this stage if you want to, just very, very lightly, just to give the idea that there is. They actually have an incredible network of veins in their wings, but we won't try to reproduce that. There we are then, so that's that stage. And now we'll go on to the inking. And if you don't have ink, don't worry, you can just use watercolor paint, make up a light wash and use that. Now I've got some ink here, some, uh, this is called Jax and it's uh, burnt sienna color. And I've got my Holbein Japanese dip pen. And instead of using um, watercolor for this, uh, but you could, instead of using watercolor, I'm going to use this ink. And I'm just going to drop um, some dots and dashes of the burnt sienna ink into the body of the dragonfly and I'm going to put a couple of marks along the top edge of both sides of the wings and maybe I'll put something at the end as well Maybe we'll just indicate a little bit the, the veins. I'm not sure if that's going to show up. And then I'm going to take my number nine brush, seven brush, and wish me luck. I'm going to come out from the body. like that. And then the one underneath, the ones underneath, we do the same. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of shadow behind the body as if it was sitting on something. Okay. So I'm just going to let that dry and then I'm thinking I'm going to do all three of them in the same colour so we'll make this a, uh, a monochrome painting, well painting, whatever.
Okay, sorry for the silence, I'm just concentrating. It's interesting to see how the ink runs. Try different techniques like wetting the whole thing, going over the lines that we did first of all. And you can also try emphasizing some of the blacks a little bit with the watercolor pencil. Which does give a different effect from the ink. We'll see how that goes. Oops. Oh. to pretend that we meant that to happen. And the last one. You can just play with this really, but I would suggest less is a good case of less is more, isn't it really? And uh, I made a mistake there, but we're going to try and cover that up a little bit with uh, some spatter. And uh, let's see, time for the toothbrush I think. I'm not going to try and spatter with ink because that would be just insane. So I'm going to find my burnt sienna paint and we're going to just do a little bit around there and then just a few bigger ones we will just test that first That's enough. I'm 
And if you make a mistake and you want to correct it, you can come in possibly with some white pen just to correct that kind of little mistake there. That doesn't notice if you uh, just do that. So there we are, three dragonflies. So I hope you enjoyed that and I will thank you for watching. I wouldn't mind a like and a subscribe if you've got one spare and uh, check out the description below for any links that you might want to find. Visit my website at dianeanton.com. We've got free downloads of drawings that you can use as um, a starter for your own painting, um, sketches, traceables, etc, etc. So pop on over to dianeanton.com and have a look at that. And apart from that, I'll say good night and see you tomorrow. Bye everyone. Bye bye.